Let's look at a couple of classic examples of splitting fields of cubic polynomials. These examples are fundamental to understanding the notion of splitting fields and also of the basics of Galois theory in general. So let's start with a quick background on splitting fields over the rational numbers. So let's take a polynomial p of x of degree n. Uh, let's let alpha 1 up to alpha n be the roots of p of x in <clears throat> the complex numbers. The splitting of field of p of x is the subfield of c generated by these roots over q. If p of x is irreducible, then when we extend q by any of the roots, say alpha 1, uh, the resulting field is isomorphic to q of x factored out by p of x. And so the degree of this field extension over q is n. Iterating this process yields that uh, this degree of a splitting field over q is always less than or equal to n factorial. And note that e over q is always divisible by n. So if n is equal to 3, then the degree of e over q is less than or equal to 6 and divisible by 3, so it must be equal to 6 or 3. So we'll look at a couple of classic examples where these two different cases occur. Let's start off by looking at the splitting fields of cubics in general. If p of x is an irreducible cubic where the roots alpha 1, alpha 2, and alpha 3, then when we adjoin one of the roots, two things can happen. One is that over this larger field, p of x splits as a linear x minus alpha 1 times an irreducible quadratic. In this case, the field generated by alpha 1 and alpha 2 is of degree 2 over q alpha 1. And so by multiplicativity of degree, the degree of e over q is 3 times 2, which is 6. And of course, E is the splitting field because once we've adjoined alpha 1 and alpha 2, alpha 3 has to lie in that field as well. The other case that can happen is that Px splits completely over this extension field Q alpha 1 <clears throat> into a product of linear polynomials. In this case, alpha 2 and alpha 3 are both in the field generated by alpha 1. So this is the splitting field and the degree of e over q is 3. So now to understand this completely, we need a couple of examples that illustrate these two cases. So let's start with the first case. Let's look at the splitting field of x cubed minus 2 over the rationals. We know this polynomial is irreducible by Eisenstein's criterion. Let's let omega be a complex cube root of unity. Then we know that the roots of x cubed minus 2 are just the real root, and that root times omega and omega squared. So the splitting field of this polynomial over q is the field generated by those three elements, which it's easy to see as the same as the field generated by the real cube root of 2 and omega. Again, we have that the field generated by the real cube root of 2, which I'll call f, is isomorphic to q of x over x cubed minus 2. And so the degree of this extension is 3. Now, since f is contained in r, we know that omega cannot be a member of this field. So since omega satisfies the polynomial x squared plus x plus 1, this has to be the minimum polynomial, not only over q, but also over q, cube root of 2. This means that the extension e over f has to have degree 2. And so by multiplicativity of degree, the, extension, the degree of the extension of the splitting field over q is 3 times 2, which is 6. So this is the typical example of that first case where the splitting field has degree 6 over q. Now let's have a look at an example where the opposite happens. So consider the polynomial x cubed minus 3x minus 1. Again, we know this is uh, irreducible by, say, the rational root theorem. 
If r is a root, then long division tells us that f of x is x minus r times x squared plus rx plus r squared minus 3. So we can apply the quadratic formula to find the roots of this quadratic, and they turn out to be given by these formulas, which I won't read out. So we have to understand whether 12 minus 3r squared is a, is a square in uh, the field generated by r. Now this is not an easy question to answer, but let's just prove that it is by evaluating 2r squared minus r minus 4 squared. And a simple uh, calculation combined with the fact that r cubed minus 3r minus 1 is 0 gives us that this is equal to 12 minus 3r squared. So this gives us an expression for these roots. The other roots are minus r plus or minus 2r squared minus r minus 4 over 2. So they're just r squared minus r minus 2 and 2 minus r squared. So all of the roots are contained in Q of r. So that Q of r is the splitting field of f over Q, and in particular, the degree of Q of r over Q is 3. So that gives us some really concrete examples of the two possible cases for the splitting field of an irreducible cubic polynomial over the rational numbers.